Welcome to Home Built Workshop. I'm Jeff. In this episode, I'm going to build a gun rack out of some barn boards. I was asked to build a gun rack for a friend of mine. They've got a very specific application in kind of a rustic setting, so I thought this barn wood would work really well for such an application. I'm going to be building two of these at the same time. They really only need one, but I've got just enough wood to do two, so I figure, well, in case there's a mistake or some of the wood doesn't work out so well, at least I'll have another one that I can use, so I'll still be able to get that one completed gun rack. And if I get two usable ones at the end, that's even better. I guess he'll just happen to have an extra one. I do enjoy building stuff for friends and family, so I was more than happy to take on this request. I'm going to start out squaring up a couple ends on the table saw on my crosscut sled. Then I'm going to set some stop blocks and I'm going to cut a couple of grooves in each end of the boards. And this is what will accept the piece of wood that holds the actual gun. Now I'll just readjust my stop block and I'll just nibble away at the center. And I'll cut a groove to accept the side pieces. Since I'm making two of these, I want the sides to be identical. So I'm going to stick them together with some double sided tape. Now I'll just roughly draw out a shape that I can cut out on the bandsaw. And I'll fine tune those cuts with my homemade spindle sander. Now I'm going to duplicate that on the other piece, but I'm going to offset it by about an inch and a half. And I'll smooth that one out on the spindle sander. And I just realized I forgot to cut a radius on the bottom of these to make the lines a little bit cleaner, so it's back to the bandsaw for a quick trim. Now I'm going to go ahead and get all these parts to fit. Since these are barn boards, the thickness is not 100% even, and they have a little bit of a bow in them. So what I need to do is to lightly sand them down till they fit in these grooves. Really, I think I just need to break the corners, and then I'll be able to tap them into place. I actually have to do some hand sanding on the slot just to widen it out just a little bit. And I think that'll go. For the glue up, I'm just using normal wood glue, brushing it in the slots and on the ends of the pieces. I ended up using a ton of clamps for this. For some reason they didn't want to go together. I don't know if the glue made the wood swell because it's such a dry pieces of wood. Finally got them all together, just going to set these aside and let them dry. I noticed when I was unclamping these, the top piece on this, this board right here has got a crack. I didn't notice it when I cut this out. The crack runs right to the bottom of this cutout right here. And I can actually wiggle that piece of wood and see that crack open up, so I need to take care of that problem first. Since this portion is going to be covered by some felt when it's all completed anyway, I'm going to just drill a hole straight down into the crack and I'm going to insert a dowel and some wood glue. Hopefully that will give it the support it needs. That's kind of the problem with using barn wood. You got cracks and some of it's dry rotted and I got a little piece here that's kind of rotten. I can actually see a little bit of worm holes on here. Uh, you just got to be a little careful with the wood you choose. I probably could have used a little bit better piece, but this is really about all I have left, so I didn't really have a whole lot of options. Um, but a little bit of repairs and some reinforcement I think will be just fine. Now that the glue's dried where I glued in those dowels, I still notice it's got a little bit of flex to it yet. Probably should have used a hardwood dowel, might have worked a little bit better. Not feeling super confident. But that's going to be solid enough. So I'm going to go ahead and drill that dowel back out. 
Since drilling out this dowel could be a little bit tricky, I'm starting with a very small drill bit, and I'll work my way up. Well, that stinks. That's why I made two. Just broke both. Huh. Well, this is an inconvenience. All right, so here's the dilemma. When I was drilling out those holes where I was gonna put the steel rods in, both pieces split the side off of that, right there. Maybe I went a, a couple of sizes too big on the drill bit too soon. The drill bit must have caught while I was drilling and snapped it right off. Not on one, both racks broke the ear off. Here's the problem. I thought I would just go back, cut this piece off, re use my router and a straight edge, reroute that uh, groove there, make completely new pieces. But this is all the wood I have left. Not enough to make new pieces. So I guess I'll just start out and I'll hack off that busted horn. Then I'll just trace out, trace out some new pieces. And I'll cut them out on the bandsaw. I use a file to fine tune the fit. I'm trying to get it lined up as best I can. May not be as catastrophic as I thought. Aside from the grain not lining up on the front, this part in here is gonna be covered by felt. So you really won't see that seam at all. The grain of the wood actually lines up pretty decent. I think it's gonna be doable. And even after breaking both those pieces, I'm still gonna use that steel rod idea but this time I'm going to drill it out on the drill press. Looks kind of crazy, but I think it'll work. Now using the hole that I've already drilled as a drill guide, I'll go ahead and drill the hole a little bit deeper so I can put the threaded rod down in there. And I'll just cut the threaded rod down to size with a reciprocating saw. Now I'm just mixing up some epoxy. And I'll shove that threaded rod down in the hole. I'll wipe off what I can. And we'll let that dry. While the epoxy is drying, I'm going to go ahead and cut some plugs out of a scrap of one of these boards. Now I can just cut those plugs free on the bandsaw. Since I've already had some issues with the stability of this wood, I figured I'd go ahead and drill and countersink for a couple of screws in the back. I'm just going to do a little bit of sanding on a few of the curves just to smooth it up a little bit, especially on the pieces that I had to glue together. Now that I've got it roughly sanded, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and try to make these fresh cut edges blend in a little bit more. Since the wood's kind of got a gray, a grayish look to it, that gray weathered look that we all like about barn wood, I've got some uh, gray transfast wood dye. I'm going to go ahead and dye the edges of this gray. Hopefully that'll help everything kind of blend in a little bit. If it doesn't look right once it's dry, I'll just sand it off. This is a water-based dye, so it's going to raise the grain a little bit. I'll knock that down once the dye is all dry. Once this dries, 
based on the little bit that I've used it so far, it'll lighten up. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry overnight. We'll pick it up tomorrow. Now that the dye has completely dried, I'm gonna just break the edges with some sandpaper and also I'll sand back a little bit of the dye so some of the wood grain can show through just a little bit more. I'm drilling the mounting holes 16 inches on center. That way they can be screwed into studs. Now with a Forstner bit set up in my drill press, I'm gonna drill a couple of small recesses centered on that small pilot hole. That little recess is gonna be for the ends of these shotgun shells. Since this is a gun rack, I thought that these would be kind of a cool little embellishment to add to this. And I'm gonna glue those caps into the hole. Now originally my plan was to use no finish, but since I had to cut and splice some boards, I'm gonna go ahead and use some Danish oil. That way it soaks down into the cracks and conditions the wood pretty well. I like using Danish oil anyway. It's really easy to apply. You just flood the surface and rub it in. Now using some spray glue, I'm gonna glue some felt into place. I'm gonna use a screwdriver to help push it down into place and make sure that it's glued securely. Then I'll just trim off the excess with a razor blade. And they are done. I think they came out really cool. Pretty happy with this project. It was pretty simple. Not really a whole lot to it. Uh, good use of these barn boards. I really hope my friend will get a lot of good use out of these. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate your support. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time. I'm getting hungry. It's lunch time. I need to get this glued up. I just realized I forgot to radius off this bottom. Whoops. Back to the bandsaw. Now I gotta clean up. Seems like all we do is work, clean up. Work, clean up, work, clean up. Can't we just have somebody that cleans up for us? Then you always gotta stop and drink some coffee too. I always use a hammer that's 10 sizes too big for the task. Ow. I think I just cut my finger.